Forkfest.party, it's gonna be a party. Oh, okay. so he was, he was asking, when did I become interested in the planning commissions? Uh, and the answer, uh, I guess I just answered the question as I was walking in the door, I was talking to my own camera, but uh, the, uh, the Granite State future controversy uh, took me to one meeting where uh, uh, there was some planning commission people there. That was where I first heard about the planning commission in 2012. And I noticed that they were unusually authoritarian in their behavior. One of them tried to intimidate me into not, not filming her. She said she hinted that she might, uh, you know, file harassment charges against me for filming as I'm filming you. Uh, and so obviously that draws more interest, not less. <laughs> so I've had six, or I had six chances to um, see the planning commissions in action uh, in New Hampshire since, they are, are including that, that time. And four of those occasions have involved someone trying to intimidate a videographer. So you've become interesting to me, but you guys in this particular building today are all behaving exactly as one would want government people to behave. So that's a step in the right direction and is appreciated. Yeah. Well, it is, to be fair, it is unusual to have someone putting a camera on you at all. You know, imagine any, any type of job. Yeah, well, you know, this is a libertarian thing. You know, those of us who want the government to get smaller, you, you know, we want to do it through peaceful means. We need to use all the peaceful means. Yeah. Yeah, I can appreciate wanting uh, transparency. Yeah. Well, good, thank you. Could I have your name? Uh, J.B. Mack. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mack, or Dr. Mack, for all I know. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Are you with the, uh, the uh, uh, well, the committee for one thing? Um, what committee? Uh, the advisory committee on natural resources and energy. Yes. Uh, question for you. Um, yes, I beg your pardon? This is my first meeting, so I'm not answering any questions. Oh, what's your <laughs> prerogative? At least you're not stopping me from asking. No, go ahead. Uh, you, oh, oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Um, what exactly does your committee do? I'm about to find out, as I said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, do you know if it op operates at taxpayer expense in some way? As I said, this is my first meeting. So okay. I'm to find out. All right. Uh, you know your name, though, right? I do know my name. Could I have it? John Snowden. Okay, okay. Mr. Mr. Snowden, thank you. I'm Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. It's like a poor man's TV station covering, uh, you know, minor meetings that the mainstream press can't get to. Minor meetings? Oh, is this a minor meeting? I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know. Whenever I go to these, it's anything, you know, along these lines that you have to work a little bit to find, the Keen Sentinel's never there, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there are rare occasions, but, uh, yeah. yeah. It's uh, getting harder and harder to be a newspaper at this point. Yeah, that's why the, the ants like me are taking over. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I no, won't. No, 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 I don't know where I'm supposed to sit. I just know that I'm giving a break. Are you on the advisory committee? Yeah. Oh, question for you. Yes. What exactly does the advisory committee do? <laughs> we learn a lot. I don't know how much advice we give, but we certainly learn a lot. What is, uh, how much taxpayer money does it use up per year, if any? Um, I certainly have no answer for that. Zero. Yeah. That would really? Be my, that so it's a committee be, with no taxpayer expenditure. That would be my suspicion. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a first. Yeah. I've never heard Very that high. before. All right. Thank you. Are you on the advisory committee? Yes. Oh, got a question for you. Sure. Um, did the advisory committee have anything to do with the uh, the Granite State Futures Project in 2012? 2013? Uh, I believe we were um, consulted on it, yeah, and we provide some feedback. Okay. Well, whatever happened with that? It seemed like there were all these meetings and all this taxpayer expenditure, and then nothing ever seemed to come of it. I believe there was a final report done, and that that's available online. 
Do you know if that final report was used to justify any particular projects or spending? Nothing anymore. Okay, well, I appreciate your knowledge on the issue. It's kind of an obscure thing now after all these years. I appreciate your, uh, yeah, your understanding of it. Are you on the advisory committee? Yes. Oh, I've got a question for you. Um, is there anything that you would be capable of doing from this position, should you choose, uh, to reduce taxpayer expenditures? That's a long question. I have need more time to answer that one. All right. Thank you. Are you on the advisory committee? What's that? Are you on the advisory yes, committee? Yes. Oh, question for you. Um, if I you wished to. I can vouch for that uh, for that late last lady. She was in fact late. So the right to record uh, in and near the meeting established. I am now ejecting, you might say fleeing, from the scene. I don't want to sit through a, a meeting about, uh, about watersheds. I just want to establish the right to record. And uh, good on these guys. Good job uh, for the way they all handled this. Uh, I've never seen a planning commission do anything like this before. It was very well handled, and uh, I hope I don't have to train all four <laughs> other planning commissions to behave like this. I think there are five in New Hampshire. I forget the exact number. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit. Forkfest.party, it's gonna be a party.